Surprise, surprise, we have gotten to the truck series. We are in class C, so we've gone from rookie to class D, and now we are on class C. This is our qualifying lap at Darlington. You guys can see the throttle control and everything um, at the bottom left of the screen. And also, I apologize about the screen being a little bit cut off in this video. You guys have noticed, like, the mile per hour thing and the, and the relative uh, box in the bottom right. It's just a little bit cut off. I don't know why the game capture didn't really do its job here. But um, we get a pretty solid qualifying lap here at Darlington. And I will say, uh, I had about 20 minutes of practice with this truck and this track never driven the truck series before in my entire life and never been at darlington had about 20 minutes to practice and then got shot straight into a race and we qualified second i was very happy with that i wasn't really exp i was i was praying i'd probably get like fifth or sixth um but we were able to get second with a 29.2 which i was very happy with and uh we start off the race now i'm really nervous here i don't, I don't know how to race side by side at darlington i will straight up admit it um, we're side by side with a truck below us, and his paint scheme is actually really cool. Him and the leader, you guys will see in a second what it says across the back. It's a pretty good meme, so just watch for that. But we're battling the fourth place car here, trying to just keep our position through three and four. We have the preferred lane. You can see hashtag Chase deserved it. So the front two guys, uh, they have some pretty cool paint schemes, I will not lie. And uh, I was pretty motivated to keep up with them. But wasn't really expecting much out of myself, honestly, this race. We're just trying to learn. I didn't even... I would say the, the longest run I made was 5 laps, and this race is 35 laps long. Now, we move ahead. This is around lap 10, I would say. And you can see we're running uh, with the second place car, the hashtag Chase Deserved the Car. Uh, I think the number 4. And we're staying with them, so this is a nice uh, point where you can see we're trying to keep the truck really stable, run the high line, and then I cut back down a little bit just because I feel like that was a little bit faster for me, but I was trying to be really careful on the throttle. You have to be part throttle a lot around this track because it is Darlington, the tires do wear out. And to three and four, uh, the guys in front of me were taking a much higher lane, and I just never practiced that, and I wasn't comfortable with getting that close to the wall. As he gets into the wall just a little bit, and we're actually going to take advantage of that mistake. I don't really think I was faster than him, but we were able to take advantage of his mistake getting his truck a little bit too high and into the wall, and we are able to pass him. And the leader's about two and a half seconds ahead. He's pretty much clocked out. I don't think I'm going to be able to pass him. And we were just looking at the lap times and stuff. Now, we have the three car coming up behind us, and he gets a little bit of contact with us. But that's because we're really slowing him up. He doesn't want to go side by side. I was, I, I was thinking about giving him the spot if he pulled down to the inside, but... I realize I have to fight my way here for every position, you know, there's no point in just letting people go, so we try to fight as hard as we can, and I was looking at the gap to the leader, and I noticed we were struggling in one and two. Uh, I was losing about two to three tenths a lap in one and two, and holding my ground in three and four, so I knew something, I, I was doing something wrong in one and two, and you can see here, I'm really struggling in one and two, as the tires wear, and I just, it was just no experience. My first time running this long into a run and you know having a deal with the tires like this and it's a completely different driving experience than the first couple of laps in the truck but we were able to hold off uh, the third place guy which is really nice and we continue on now we scrape the wall just a little bit as we come out of two and this time he's going to go below us and we're not going to put up a fight we're just going to let him go here he's going to slide up and we're going to back out of the throttle and let him go not going to try to fight him um, and that's the proper move because he was faster than us and we're still running third in our first ever truck race with about 20 minutes of practice I cannot explain to you guys how much practice means it is insane and I was just really happy with the amount of inexperience in a truck I've never driven before at a track I've never been at that we we're doing very well and then the second place car gets loose coming out of two which is the trouble spot at Darlington and he wrecks going down the back straight away and the difference in class C from the previous uh, races the cautions are on during these races so a caution came out for that and it was not really any pit strategy going on because we're all coming down pit road. Uh, I have had a, I've had a few problems in iRacing of overrunning my pit stall, so I'd be very careful there not to do it. You can see our, our pit crew going to work. Hopefully get a nice 13 second pit stop. And uh, they're working on our truck. And they come around to the left side tire, jack it up, all that good stuff. And we come out of pit road. Remember, we came in second. And I, I don't think I did a very good job coming out of pit road. But also, the guy didn't give me a lot of room coming out of pit road either. But uh, he gets ahead of us, and we are now in third. But we get a much better restart than the start of the race. And we are able to get a solid start. Now, the guy to the outside of us, he's there. But because we have the bottom lane here, we're just able to slide right up, full throttle. And we try to settle ourselves in here for the last couple of laps. 
And we're going to have to fight pretty hard here. Now, we have new tires, which is nice. So it's kind of a, a better experience. And remember, the leader pulled away to, I think it was around three seconds uh, through about 20 laps. And uh, I wanted to just see if I was able to hold up with him. Now, I knew I probably wasn't going to win this race. But we also have a, a little bit of fight from the car behind us. As he looks like he might be a little bit faster than us as well. But we're going to try to just... It's so hard to pass a Darlington that you can't... You, you gotta really got to risk it if you want to pass. And coming out of turn two, again, the trouble spot. We're being careful. And the car behind us, or the truck behind us, gets loose coming out of two. And we give, it gives us a breathing gap, which was much needed. Because I was getting under pressure a lot. Um, just trying to stay up with the fr front two guys. So we move on just a little bit later on in the race. Last lap. And uh, the two guys up front were battling out. But look at the gap. We ran about 10 laps. And I'm still around one second behind the leader. Which made me really happy. Because that means during the race, I improved. Um, which makes me incredibly happy. Because uh, we, we lost about, I think it was 3 seconds in 20 laps. And in 10 laps, we only lost a second. That's improvement. I was very happy with it. Zero incidents, which is going to help our safety rating. And we come through to finish our first ever race in the truck series at Darlington in third. And trust me. For me, that's a win. That is a win, and uh, that is very nice because I just I, I did not feel comfortable. Turn two, turn one and two is very. I have to learn it because very very sensitive um, to the throttle, and it's really really difficult. So we go to our second race, and we are again showing a qualifying lap. Now you can see if you guys can give me any pointers, comment down below because I I feel like I'm losing time in one and two. That's what that's personally me what I feel like. I, I see people running 28 nines. And I'm kind of stuck around a 20, 29.2, and I'm, I'm off three tenths. I want to be the fastest guy out there, so in my opinion, I'm off three tenths. I don't feel like we're losing time in three and four, but I don't know. So we finish our qualifying lap, and you can see here that we qualify in third. Um, so again, it's good, but I, I feel like I might be expecting a little bit too much out of myself too early because I really wanted to, to be fast early on, but I'm really starting to struggle a little bit at Darlington. But green flag is out. And we're running third, so that's going to be helpful. I don't really like starting second at Darlington. That's what I feel, realized real quick um, because just the outside is kind of nerve wracking I did not really want to make a move here underneath uh, the guy in front of us, so we just try to stay nice and clear of him, and we fall into third place. Now, the key this race was just really improving on the last race um, and trying to just manage our tires a little bit and just try to see what lines people run because what I noticed is that a lot of people like to run a little bit higher up in 3 and 4, and I don't really feel like I can do that. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong in terms of my throttle control, but uh, the first and second place car, they go side by side in turn 1, which to me is a, a risky move, as I don't know how he's gonna, that, that car below is going to get um, underneath them and past them. So we get a little bit of a run here, and we try going underneath LSR TV. I don't know if that's a YouTube channel or not, but if it is, hello. Um, and we try to get underneath them. We're trying to make a pass for the first time. But uh, the car, the truck just gets a little bit too tight. If I keep saying car, by the way, guys, it's a habit. I'm sorry. Truck gets a little bit too tight, and uh, that's a mistake on our part because fourth place is going to come around the outside. Now we're kind of screwed here, and we just want to uh, get back in line. Now here he comes, another person behind us. Now we clip the apron just a little bit, and here's that trouble spot in turn two. We get loose coming out of the corner, and we almost saved it into the wall. And now we've lost all control. And the second race is uh, pretty much done at that point. Not really the dream scenario. First race we did very well, but right here you can see it was the apron. I got on the apron right there, and at that point, I feel like with a little bit more experience, I would have been able to save it. But I just don't know the feelings of these trucks yet. It's it's a very different from a K&N car. Uh, and I, I, I want to blame it on inexperience, but then again, I take some of the blame right there. Because you can see here, it's just, it's a stupid move. I don't know why I'm cutting that low on the apron. I don't know what it is. And you can see right there, it looks like he got in, into us, but he didn't. Uh, the guy behind us did a great job of not getting into us at all, actually. And I was very appreciative of that. But we would finish the race somewhere in last, and that would be that. But the good news is, guys, we're in Class C. So we're halfway to, to Class A, which is really nice. Uh, the bad news, we have to learn the truck series. And that might take a little bit of time. And it's not great that we have to learn it at Darlington. I, trust me, I, I wish we could go somewhere else than Darlington. You can see here we're at 3.52 with the uh, the safety rating. And I think our I rating is like around 2100. Um, but yeah, so guys, if you like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscri subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And peace out. Even if I try
Even if I wanted to and I can't change Even if I try My love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm 